Hi class, uh, this video here is a follow-up to the first video on your project number one. And what I want to show you how to do now is um, create a scatter plot and histogram uh, for the variables that you've selected. And then I'll also do uh, the summary statistics for this. Okay, so the first thing it says is create a scatter plot of your response and predictor variables to ensure they are appropriate for developing a linear model. Okay, so I'm just going to click in a blank cell here and I'm going to click insert and then I'm going to click the scatter plot. And you'll notice that a blank scatter plot uh, came up in here. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to click right click in here and I'm going to click select the data. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do over here is I'm going to click add. Okay. And it's going to say, okay, well, what are your X values? So I'm going to click this and I'm going to select my X values here. And then I'm going to go to the Y values. I'm going to delete this one here and I'm going to select my Y variables here. And I'm going to hit OK. And then all I'm going to do after that is I'm going to hit OK here. And you're going to see here, this is what my data looks like. All right, so what this is is a graph of median listing price. And just looking at my scatter plot here, you can see that there is definitely one huge outlier in my data set. And this is going to warp my analysis. Um, and this is covered in one of the follow-up questions in your project, but your data set might not have this. So if you look here, this one looks like it's the point um, square foot of 778 and a median listing price of $1.6 million. So that's probably New York City. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this this is New York City. So this is a this is an outlier that's warping my data. Okay. Um, or, or influencing, not warping, but heavily influencing my data set. Okay, now let's talk now about the histograms. So for your two variables, let's create histograms of them. So going back, I'll do a histogram of median uh, square feet first. So I'm just going to select the entire column. I'm going to go insert. And then there's this little button here that says see all charts. I'm going to go down to histogram. I'm going to hit enter. And this right here, I'll move it down. This right here is my histogram for median square feet. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for um, uh, for the median listing price. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select the column of median listing price. I'm going to go insert. Go to all charts. I'm going to go to histogram. And you can see how skewed this one is because of that outlier. I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to bring this graph down. And this is a graph of median listing price. OK. What's really interesting is actually, if you just delete the, the, the data, It'll, it'll automatically adjust the graph for you, uh, but we'll leave it in there for now. All right, so then the next thing it said was uh, for your two variables, create a table that shows the mean, median, and standard deviation. Okay. So this is for the uh, median listing price, or excuse me, yeah, we'll do, uh, I'm sorry, median square footage first. Sorry about that. And we have the mean, the median, and the standard deviation. And then we're going to do the same thing for median listing price. So we're going to co collect the same thing, the mean, the median, and the standard deviation. OK, so for square footage, we're going to go equals average. And then we're just going to select the variables here. Okay, so it looks like the median square footage of these listing homes is 1850, or excuse me, the average, I'm sorry. So then the median is equal median. Sorry for misspeaking there, the average. The median here is 1814, the average was 1850. And the standard deviation, so you're going to do stdev.s because you have a sample. So then you're going to start the parentheses. You're going to select the data. 
and this looks like my standard deviation for square footage. Uh, let's do the same thing. So the mean for median listing price, so equals average. So I'm gonna go over to median listing price. It looks like the average listing price is a little under 300,000. The median, so again, I'm gonna go and select my data here. This is the median, a little bit lower. And the standard deviation, stdev.s, because we have a sample. Is that. So that's just how you collect, do the graphs um, and collect the basic summary statistics here for these. Um, so I'll continue to follow this up um, with a second video. So you can see, you can even clean this up and merge. So you have a nice table here. There's a lot of great things you can do in Excel. So I'll follow this up next by talking about some of the analysis in a uh, follow-up video.